Another protest devolves into chaos, drowning out calls for justice, the injuries and arrests in Manhattan. And we start with that breaking news right now at 11 o'clock. I'm Natalie Pascarella. Thank you for joining us. David is off tonight. Just moments ago, police announced the discovery of a Molotov cocktail during that protest. Now that's in addition to the 11 arrests. It all comes in response to the chokehold death of Jordan Neely on the New York City subway and the ongoing calls for his killer's arrest. News Force Chris Jose live in Soho right now with the latest, the new information, Chris. And Natalie, NYPD telling us in the last 10 minutes, 150 protesters showed up to that demonstration for Jordan Neely in Soho earlier this evening. 11 people were arrested. Officers also finding a Molotov cocktail on the scene. A short time ago, uh, NYPD addressing us in a news conference. Take a listen. As the protest started, there were different violations of the law. Officers addressed the violations of the law. We made about 11 arrests. And as we started to move the crowd, we found a Molotov cocktail. Tonight, a vigil for Jordan Neely quickly turning sideways in front of the Broadway Lafayette subway entrance. They're not going to file us a demonstrator defying NYPD orders. <laughs> Police arresting the man, the crowd spilling onto Houston Street. Cops using a loudspeaker of their own to tell people to get back on the sidewalk. This is the New York City Police Department. Officers arresting at least five people, a man's face bloody in the melee. It's not clear how. Let him go! Let him go! Protests growing more tense by the day after the chokehold death of Neely. Last Monday, 24-year-old Marine veteran Daniel Penny put Neely in a chokehold after witnesses say Neely boarded the train, harassing and threatening riders. Police questioned Penny, but he was not charged. Sources briefed on the case say there was no functional camera at the platform level of the subway station. The NYPD now asking for camera footage from three nearby stations. Four people called 911, including Sank Ergon. I thought it was just a fight. You know, I didn't know it was a deadly situation at all. Two sources familiar with the matter say the investigation is ongoing and the Manhattan District Attorney won't make a decision on a grand jury presentment until later this week. The critical question is just going to be what was Mr. Neely doing and did it give rise for any reasonable basis for Mr. Penny to, to take him down and put him in a chokehold. Neely suffered from mental illness. Sources say he was on a list of the most at-risk homeless men in the city. Attorneys for Penny say he, with the help of others, acted to protect themselves, adding Penny did not intend harm, pointing out Neely's past behavior, which includes more than 40 arrests, according to police. Today, lawyers for Neely's family saying, if this ends with no charges against Daniel Penny, how can anyone feel safe? And despite numerous warnings early this evening, NYPD says protesters did not have a sound permit. Among the people arrested, a photojournalist, police telling us this evening that that person uh, interfered with at least three arrests. We'll stay on this. Reporting live outside the 7th Precinct, Chris Jose, News 4 New York.